Ever wondered why there are two sides to everything? Why every creation is in peace, why everything has got an opposite? Like the good and bad, right and wrong, black and white, heavens and earth, truth and lie. The thought of it roaming freely on my mind and if you don't mind, I would like to share the sense I made out of it. You see, the ability to experience the opposite is what makes us human. When everything is right, that way it's wrong. Opposites are what give meaning to life, beautify and adorn our existence. In between the opposite are our lives. How will life be interesting and how are we to make history if there's no rising and falling, winning and losing, failing and passing, success and failure and other peers that make history? How are we to appreciate the sun without the moon, the night without the day, the land without the sea, the heart without the cold, light without darkness, positive without the negative, knowledge without ignorance? Oh no, I can't imagine everything being stagnant and not relevant. Life doesn't make sense sometimes, and to make sense out of it, there is need for a beginning and an end, for happiness to come after sadness, for joy to come after sorrow, for laughter to come after tears, for highs to come after lows, and to make more out of life, that's why there is death. To make more of our youth is why there is old age. It's only fear that everything has an opposite. Imagine experiencing sadness all through life, staying here without water, hot without cold, sickness without health, sadness without happiness. Survivor will either be normal or strange. Well, that has got an opposite too. Wouldn't it be too harsh when there is sun without moon, land without seas, lies without truth, sorrow without joy, darkness without light, men without women as their complements? Life would be nothing, and even nothing has something as its opposite. It only makes sense that every other thing are in peers except for the creator of those peers. Somewhere in between the past and future is the present. The present is now. Now is your life, my life, our lives. Somewhere in between courage and fear is hope. In between laxity and extremism is a balance. In between black and white is grey. In between conflict and resolution lies tolerance and understanding. In between perfection and imperfection lies the beauty of every creation. Let's create a balance in every world in our world. My message may sound mysterious in a way. Its meaning is deeper than the words I say. But with words, my imagination I relay for the world to survey.